Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's uh, Monday again. What is the date? It's July 15th and the year is just keeps moving. Um, I have uh, again, not again, but I've noticed that yes, there's a lot of activity. The VC is alive and well, fantastic. And um, I'm seeing through my uh, feed that um, people are both posting videos on a regular basis and so I'm attempting to get by and say hello I'm watching a little bit but mostly I'm saying hello just just as a solidarity you know this you know the community is very important to me I am watching videos too though you know just I see them just boom and there's just a, a bunch more videos that are asking to be watched and um, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and as a result I can only watch so much um, this morning I'm going into Make Believe Studios for basically a, um, a lesson or a, a session. It's a, a mixing session, but um, it's really kind of a, you know, an on-hands tutorial for me because the idea for me is to be able to do as much of uh, this work for myself as possible. Not to put anyone out of a job, but just that... Um, I'm so close, you know, that I just need, I just need some, uh, so I just need some, um, information and some hands-on things that will help me to, um, solidify my final mixing, um, uh, efforts and, um, what I, what I can, what I can do. I, I think it's time to do a, a bit of a personal music update because, uh, a new record is, a new piece of vinyl is going to be coming out by me in about a week, maybe two more weeks. But what I'm listening to, I've shown this recently, is Summer Sweet by Rising Sun. This is an album I recently bought in a big quote unquote new age hall at Record Benders in Bellevue, Nebraska. This album came out in 1983 on a cool um, independent label Rising Sun Records, which I don't think put out very many records, but everything I've found so far on this label I love and this is just gorgeous gorgeous music for the morning gorgeous music for the morning um I meet with the uh, crew from the film tomorrow night I am just about done I think I've matched um, music to all the scenes that they're looking for music for. Um, I've come up with alternatives for those scenes as well. So I'll meet with them tomorrow. I want, the idea is to once, once that's complete, that we'll put out a soundtrack of, of the movie and also a sound, a, an album of music in, that I've done inspired by the soundtrack. That's kind of what we're thinking. Honestly, since I'm t giving you kind of an update about my music, most likely the film soundtrack will first come out as a limited run CD, CDR, but I'll have it manufactured to make available for the film's uh, opening in October here in Omaha. And from there we'll proceed about a vinyl release. Um, with, that, with that in mind, I, I uh, want to share that I'm just about two weeks away from um, uh, receiving the vinyl version of my first record. I'll show it to you. My first solo um, release back in 2001. Making records has always been my big fantasy. Since, of course, I've been making them for a while now, but. My first solo um, release was, not, I called it Nice, and it was an attempt to put something together out of home recordings and one studio recording I had at the time. You know, it was trying to present as best I could what I was able to do at the time. Some of you folks who follow me and have been following for a while know that through the vinyl community, I was able to release my, um, start to release my records on vinyl and let me show them because maybe some of you don't have it. No. Okay, so so 
to update everyone on the whole records making saga it's been about what almost two years it was yet last year wasn't it that I put out the yeah last year that I basically wished out loud to make a record and uh, Sequoia Flame and Words DB71 loaned me the money to do it and I paid them back promptly and since then I've made uh, five albums the first one was Derek three I started with this one because this was the most current current one at the time I really wanted to get, to see this on vinyl I wanted to see this picture on vinyl as well so I made a hundred and they're supposed to be 250 they only end up being like 220 of these and it's all gone part of the pressings on red vinyl the rest are on black so that was the first album I pressed then in order to again realize my dream I went back and reconfigured Derek number two um, let me do this right. Where is it? Okay, it's I can't, I can't see it with my glasses. <coughs> anyway, I put that out on CD proper in 2004. So I had it reconfigured using my sister Stephanie's artwork for the cover this time and this picture of us from my um, teen years and this was my second vinyl release. This is all sold out, completely gone. Well, that went so well that the band that I'm in, In Dreama, with Nick Fackler from Icky Blossoms, we decided to press the In Dreama album. And so I did, and this came out, and it, not only did I re release it, but I got it released in re conjunction with Team Love Records. Bright Eyes label, Tilly in the Wall, or on this label, among other bands. So this came out. And uh, I've sold all my copies, but this is in stores nationwide. Okay, so I kept going, and I wanted to test the waters. I do this ambient electronic music as well, and I want. I thought to myself, well, I would like to release that stuff. I don't know what the response will be. So, and I also wanted to put something out sort of quickly. So I made Sonospheres. And this one, I only made a hundred copies of it. It's, it's all gone. They're gone, gone, gone. All on blue vinyl. And this one was the cheapest um, production that I've done. I won't do this again. This one, I went to a particular record presser. I won't name them. They did a decent job, but they did, it was not what I wanted. So then that led to my most recent release, which is Sonospheres 2. And this one is still available. All these other records are sold out. This one I still have copies of. I've got maybe 80 copies of this left for sale. And um, I'm real proud of this, all of these, but I'm real proud of this, real proud of this. This came out really good. So the next thing I'm expecting to hear, not, yeah, I should hopefully next week receive the vinyl of this. All my other records I've done pre-orders to help recoup the costs concerned that I, you know, was going to lose my butt. I didn't, I'm not, I did decided not to do pre-orders this time be, just so that those that are interested in the records don't have to wait long. If you're, if you're interested in having Derek Nice on vinyl, it's coming and it'll be here and, and, and I can send them out. So it's going to be the same as my other records, $15 plus um, postage, $5 US, you know, it's much more overseas, it's just you no know, way I can get around that. But I wanted to share with you that that's about to happen. This is about to, um, hopefully, in about another week, week and a half, I'll be able to make a video showing you the vinyl of it and uh, explaining how you can order it if you're interested. The other thing I want to say is yesterday, Sunday, um, after the Trayvon Martin uh, case um, verdict, I made several posts on Facebook about it because I am very suspicious of the motives of the American government. I'm very suspicious of the motives of the American media because it's controlled by a small group. And 
I swear, I see seeds of discontent being purposely sown as though someone in the government or someone up high, someone in, in the elite, wants social unrest. They want to see chaos in the streets. I'll say it very plainly. To give, to give themselves an excuse to use all those bullets they bought. Give them an excuse to um, fill up the FEMA camps. This is not conspiracy theory, folks. This is not. This is all real. And I'm, I'm really, really pretty angry with you pinhead, pinheads who keep saying it's conspiracy when every day there's blatant, um, blatant destruction of our civil rights, trampling on the Constitution is happening daily, more obviously, more blatant. Uh, the government is such a puppet of the ruling class, whoever they are. I'm not making this stuff up. I've been watching this stuff since I was a kid, long before someone came up with the idea of debunking everything by calling it conspiracy theory. So this was on my mind yesterday, and I talked about it on Facebook and got a lot of discussion going. And this is my stance, which is the American media, which is controlled by uh, the monopoly, in America wants us distracted while they are up to some nefarious shit. You know, I don't even have an opinion. I'm not even going to share an opinion about the Martin case because it's not important. What I see as important is how the media plays right into the whole um, strategy of keeping people divided. You know, keeping, you know, and and fomenting more division between people over trivial issues. I see it, and I'm not falling for it, and I'm calling it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it out more and more because I think it's real obvious to me that people, we as individuals need to take some charge in this because we're being sold like, you know, we've been sold like slaves, you know, and just, the great it seems like the great majority of people just are oblivious and it's right in our faces so that's what I was talking about yesterday that's what I'm talking about today the actual uh, ruling on the case is not important what's important is to me is for American people to rise above the madness and come back to and come back together you know to try and focus on how we're all in this together as opposed to what our differences are instead of Democrats against Republicans races against races uh, uh, social classes against social classes you know it's to me it's just very obvious you know to me it's very obviously being orchestrated on a, a certain level and I resent it I don't like it I also extremely don't like it and resent it when people who don't know any better uh, attack people like me for bringing it up. I'm bringing it up for my benefit and you doubters. You're idiots to trust the government. You are. They've been fucking us in the ass for the longest. I guess some people like it, but I don't. I'll end, on the, I'll end the video like this, like I started on music. I got a new record coming out. This one is still available. This one isn't. The other records of mine aren't. Everything is, is online, available on Bandcamp. You can hear my music. You can download most of it for free. It's good music. It really is. It's, <laughs> it's not just a vanity project. I'm out here in this world making good music for you for you to hear. Bless you all.